Okay, welcome. So today I'll be making a tutorial on how to self-activate NOAA weather radios in 2024. So starting off with a disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any illegal activations of the emergency alert system, WEA, or NOAA weather radio tampering. Um, and of what I know so far, this is a completely safe and legal way of self-activating because this FM transmitter does not transmit far. And I'm not responsible for any illegal acts that are done in relation to no weather radio, uh, no weather radio stations, um, the emergency alert system, the wireless emergency alert system, or any corresponding systems. Okay, so first, what you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of device like this. This is this is an iPhone 6s Plus. Basically, something that could access the internet, or maybe like a or Something that can access the internet or that you can download MP3 files onto that has a headphone jack like this. Like like older iPhones, iPods, MP3 players, and maybe even a computer, but I haven't tested that yet. Okay, so then next, next you need this. This is the main component of the system. This is an FM, this is a car FM transmitter. Basically, it will broadcast your no other radio tones to your radio and self-activate it. Um, this specific one, I don't know if any other works. I, this specific one I have, I will link in the, I will link an Amazon link in the in the description if you would want, want to buy one of these. I am, I don't, I don't make any money from this, so I'm just, uh, I don't have like an Amazon affiliate link or, affiliate link or anything, so I'm just helping you out. And then lastly, you're going to need, of course, a no other radio. I don't know why the, my 262 is not working, but the 120, the, the Midland WR120 does work, so I'm going to be using that for this video. So first, what you want to do is uh, get the FM transmitter, turn it on, and then set it to 93.2. On it, it, it might be hard to see because of the LCD display on here. But there you go. Set it to 93.2 uh, megahertz. And then plug it into whatever device you're using. So like my iPhone 6, plug it in there. Okay, there we go. Um, and then once it's plugged in, go to, go into, um, I'm using YouTube for this example, and look up some sort of tone to use to activate your radios. Uh, hold on. Um, um, <laughs> excuse me, so, I use, I actually am in the process of making a, oops, sorry, I'm actually in the process of making a playlist full of tones that work for me when I'm self-activating, of course, I just actually just got this FM transmitter today, um, but the, my first, the first video on here, I'll probably add more by the time this video comes out, um, this is the first video I have on here, it's, it's called, it's actually my video, it's called KGG68RWT, and it has pretty good tones that you can use to self-activate. So next, what you want to do is go to your weather radio, and then go to menu, at least this is for the 120, I, this works for the 120, it m probably works for others, but I don't, I only have, the only radios I have that are actually working is this 120, and then I also have the 262, but I can't get it to work there. So first, what you need to do is, um, oh shoot, sorry. Okay, so go to alert type. I have it on display, so it doesn't like make a lot of noise. And set channel. What you want to do is set it on channel one or two, or one or two. I I I use one personally because I can just go back to KGG sixty eight if I want to listen to it. And then this isn't um. This isn't required. If you use certain videos, you like there's there's a popular video online that has every single EAS tone. If you use that, you'll have to do this. Basically, use set location and set it to any, and that will set it basically for the entire United States. Um, and then what you want to do is go onto your device and then go to the video you want to use. In this case, it's this. KG68 RWT video. Um, I, I find that it works best like this. Where, where For some reason, where your phone is kind of angled like this, 
in this like certain space apart from the radio. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. So then you go into weather so you can hear the tones. As you can see, it should be clear like this if you did everything right. Uh, actually, just ignore the static. It's because I have my antenna up. And I personally like to put the antenna down this way so it has a little bit less static. Um, it'd be nice if that was actually working right now. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I have the antenna extended here. And it has there's no audio coming through because this FM transmitter is overpowering the no weather radio transmitter that is like in that is like 30 miles away from me or something maybe 40 anyways so next you play so next you this is required weekly tests so it so it should come up as required weekly test when I do this here's my recording as you can see it starts playing. Here comes the tones. And it should come up any second now. Yep, there it is. Required weekly test. And I, and I didn't press anything. So I paused the video. And there you go. That's how you can self-activate with the required weekly test. I'm going to do another demonstration just so... Um, once again, just for demonstration purposes, let me pop this down. Oops. Okay. Okay, there we go. All EAS tones. So, this is a video I'd like to use. I'm gonna go to, hmm, let's say, um, let's say coastal flood warning. So if we wanted to tone for a coastal flood warning, this is what we do. Right now it's on required weekly test, of course. And also, just a, a bonus trick that you can use for telling if an alert's about to come into your radio is that usually when an alert is being decoded by the radio, it will freeze. Like this will stop blinking and this will stop scrolling for a second. It'll like freeze up and and then right after, it'll freeze up for like half a second, or half a second to a second, and then, it'll, and then the alert will come through. So I'm gonna do coastal flood warning, as you can see. It's coming through. Watch for the freezing. Hold on, I, okay, I got that wrong, <laughs> sorry. What? Okay, watch this. Here's coastal flood warning. As you can see, it froze. It froze here. Oh, okay. It came out as unrecognized message. That's common. Basically, it came out as unrecognized message because the to the e the tones that came through were too. It basically it didn't and understand what the tones were, but it understood that they were tones. So this means that the radio did get the alert, but it just didn't get it correctly. Let me try a different one. Yeah, that, that's pretty common, so don't worry about that. I get these, like, most of these alerts. I'll do contagious disease warning. Okay, here we go. Here's contagious disease warning. It froze. And... Oh, unrecognized again. Okay, yeah. Once again, it's pretty common. Don't need to worry about, like, if your radio's broken. I'll try something else. I'll try flash freeze warning. Here's flash freeze warning. Oh, yeah, hold on. Sorry. Here's hurricane local statement. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Here it is. It'll freeze.
enemies properly. Nope, it didn't. But doesn't matter because look, hurricane local statement or just hurricane statement doesn't matter. But there you go. That is your guide to self-activating. Once again, I'm not responsible for any illegal doing wrongdoings of this public of the public warning system. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day.